at a very important spot. This is called the Fountain of Memmius, one of the grandsons of the Roman dictator Sulla or Silva. While the Turks were making excavations here, they found out that there were some huge cisterns existing on the top of the hills where they were saving rain waters in the winter, using it for their summertime needs. Water was as scarce, at times was being brought from a distance of 20 kilometers by the help of their aqueducts, you know this earthen gravity system. So far we have seen that the city is entirely made of marble or granite, which emitted heat all day long in the summer and started giving it out during those hot summer nights. So the city was becoming hot as hell. People could not manage to sleep in peace and comfort. What they did was to let the cold water of their fountains and the cisterns run all the way down their streets. Cold water combining with hot marble slabs causes condensation, evaporation. Plus, the cool breezes coming from the Aegean Sea was a kind of air conditioning system. You know what our nomads do? At the present time, they hang a wet carpet or a wet kilim in front of their tents. The wind blowing through, through the carpet or the kilim cools off their tent area. The same basic system of our 20th century water coolers or desert coolers. What do you think the Allied forces did use way out in the Saudi Arabian deserts during the recent Gulf crisis? Entirely based on the system, which we've been using it in Anatolia for thousands of years. On this side is Nike, the goddess of victory, holding a diadem made of... Man your steps. Wanda. Okay, watch out, watch out. Wanda, watch out, my dear. Whole thing. Oh, look at this. By the way, do you all understand my English? Yes. yes. Good. Alex, watch out. Watch out. <laughs> now, may I have your attention, please? You are looking at the uh, street of Cretes. Cretes means young boys, handsome young boys, and the name comes from the Alexander's, from Alexander's boyfriends. Right. As you know, he was deeply interested in handsome young boys of Ephesus. So, they, he has put all his boyfriend's statues one after the other. Hephaestion was the most important one, but we couldn't find the statues of Hephaestion here. Now, at the very beginning, it was the Alexander's boyfriends. Later on, Romans, when they conquered the city, they have changed all those statues. Instead, they put the statues of their important people, such as doctors, lawyers, professors, athletes, governors, politicians, all the way down. So this was something like an art gallery. The access to the street was given by the gate of Hercules over there. This is the gate of Hercules. And all the way down, there are many statues. For instance, this very first statue, the head is missing, belongs to a doctor, Dr. Alexandru Alexandros, whom did apply the first operations on the human body. After some successful ones, his statue was erected here with praiseworthy terms, with flattering terms. He was a great uh, doctor, he did this, he did that, blah, 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 blah. One of his cases was somebody fell down at the Agora, hit his head on the marble, 
what do you call it? Concussion. Right. Brain hemorrhage eventually. And what he did was he stuffed his mouth with lots of uh, opium and made him drink a lot of red wine. When he passed out, he drilled a hole. He drilled a hole. Relieved the pressure. Relieved the pressure and made, drained the blood. Put a piece of metal. He saved his life. Now, in front of us, ladies and gentlemen, it's the fountain of Emperor Trajan. A two-storied building. Would you mind holding this for me, please? Now, look. Fountain of Emperor Trajan. A two-storied building. Restoration was done like this, just to give us an idea what it looked like during those days. Formerly, the colossal statue of the emperor stood in the middle of facade. At the present time, the surviving base with the two feet and the globe has been restored back to its original position. Attention, please, with one foot on the globe like this. He says, I reign the whole world. I am the only emperor in the world. Which means they knew that the world was round. They expected this world to be round. How come? By the help of their natural philosophers, such as Thales, Anaximenes, Anaximandres, Heraclitus, Hecatetus, all those people were either born here or they grew up in Ephesus. A well-known chap named Heraclitus, born and raised here, he says, Tapanda Re, Tapanda Re, which in English means everything flows away. But that was a metaphor. He wanted to give us a message. He says, life goes away, health goes away, wealth goes away, beauty goes away, handsomeness goes away, everything flows away. Don't you forget, you only live once. Enjoy it while you can, forget about tomorrow. Why? How come? Maybe you know, Christianity was set free in the year of 311 AD by Emperor Constantine the Great. In the year of 315, while the religion was being widespread, they were constructing these mosaics. Now, ladies, Homes come closer rich. this way, please. Homes and shops. Tony, come. I want to show you some Christian designs. All right. See those, see those ellipses? These ellipses, fish in ancient Greek means ichthys, ichthys, which is an acronym. It's been formed by combining several initials. Those are Jesus, Christos, Theos, Eos, Sotir. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, our Savior. Look at these crosses here, please. These are the Maltese crosses. These are the Maltese crosses. Can you see them? Mm -hmm. And these are the meander motifs. The reds are on one side. The, uh, the others are on the other side. Uh, representing us a stylized cross. Again, another cross. So, in Anatolia, while the nomads were traveling, they have bumped into many Christian designs. They adopted them and applied them on their Turkish carpets, on those oriental rugs. On every oriental rug, you can see most of these designs. Floral designs, meander motifs, fish motifs, uh, geometrical figures, everything. I don't know whether you've seen it or not, but I know. But I'm, I'm going to take you to the sword. So you.